heads. Better still, but God himself alive, pulling at the other end of the cord? That's quite another matter. Supposing we really found him. Supposing he came to find us. Socrates, who by all reports was really bright, said, all of the wisdom of this world is but a tiny raft upon which we must set sail when we leave this earth. All of the wisdom of the world is a tiny raft. Then he said, if only there was a firmer foundation upon which to sail, perhaps some divine word. The wisdom of the world, the message of the gospel, tiny raft, unsinkable ship. Do you want a pilot? Signal then to Jesus. Do you want a pilot? Bid him come on board, and he can safely guide across the ocean wide until at last you reach that heavenly harbor. I will have failed you. My colleagues will have failed you by speaking nice things to you on a nice Sunday in June when the compelling, urgent call of God upon my heart is to say to you, loved ones, you're going to die, and only Christ is resurrection and life. Trust in him. Trust only in him. Let us pray. Our gracious God, we thank you that the gospel is vast enough that we can explore it for all of our lives, and yet it is simple enough that our children that were at VBS this week are able to grasp it. That you came from heaven as a helpless babe, entered our world with your glory veiled. You didn't come to be served, but to serve. You came to give your life as a ransom for many. Some of us, Lord, are frittering our lives away. Forgive us and help us that we might finish strong, that we might run straight through the middle years, that in the infancy of our days that we might give ourselves unreservedly to serve you, whatever that means, wherever it means, in the arts, in business, in science, in pastoral ministry, in teaching, in whatever it is, that we might give ourselves. Thank you that in the Lord Jesus Christ we are born again to a living hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, that all the things that were written in the past were written so that through the endurance and the encouragement of the Scriptures we might have hope, a hope that is able to stand the test of time, a hope that is able to deal with the despairing days of life, a hope that is able to stand triumphant before our own grave. Hear us, O God, as we cry out to you from where we are. In your Son's name, amen.